So you've finally completed the brief you've been working so hard on, and then you realize that your professor asked you to include a table of authorities for the brief. Building a table of authorities by hand can take hours. Luckily, there is a tool in Westall Precision that allows you to build a table of authorities from a completed brief within just a few minutes. I'll show you how to do that now. Scroll to the top of your Westlaw Precision homepage and select the down arrow next to Thomson Reuters Westlaw Precision. Then select Drafting Assistant. On the next page, you'll select Upload Word Document. Then you're going to upload your completed brief. Once you've uploaded your brief, you'll select TOA Builder to the left of the screen. Then you'll create a profile. Select Create New. From here, you can adjust your settings so that they are consistent with the instructions you've been given by your professor or jurisdictional requirements for table of authorities related to your brief. If your brief is based in a federal jurisdiction, you'll leave your jurisdiction set to none. Otherwise, you'll select the respective state jurisdiction. You'll then select any content categories you would like included in the table of authorities. Select any formatting options, such as whether you want your sites to be italicized or underlined, or the default will just include those sites as they appear in your brief. Then you can select whether you want to include PASM for frequently incited cited sources, and also adjust your spacing. So if you'd like your brief to include double spacing, you'll select that and then save. I've already created my profile, so I'm going to cancel out of this screen. And then I'm going to mark my brief for identification. I'll select set start position. And I'm going to select my start position at the beginning of my legal argument. And then I'm going to select my end position, set end position. and scroll to the end of your brief. And then once you've selected the range for site identification, you'll select Run TOA Builder. Now, if you look to the left of the screen, you'll find a list of all the citations found in your brief, including short sites and IDs. Take a look at all of those citations to make sure everything looks good. And then we're going to insert our TOA. Typically, your TOA comes right after the table of contents. I'm going to select Insert TOA right before my legal argument here. Then Submit. Just check to make sure your TOA is in the place that you'd like it to be. Everything looks good. There's my beautiful TOA. I can select Finish. And then select the download icon at the top right of the screen to download your brief back into Word. Save it and then submit it and you're done.